Hey guys, welcome to day 22 on Hammer and Chisel, Chisel Balance and 10 Minute Abs. Always a great workout, especially if you have bad balance like I do. I'm always sweating by the end of that workout. Um, so this morning we went grocery shopping, so today I really want to talk about food and what are our staples, what are the things that we always have in the house that we make our meals from. I think that nutrition is a struggle for most of us in figuring out what's healthy, what's not, what to eat, what to buy, um, so I thought it might be helpful to share what we always get. When we started eating healthier a couple years ago, it was a little different. Um, we had a smaller food budget, but we were trying to eat healthy, so we ate a lot of grains, a lot of whole grains, a lot of brown rice, a lot of beans, a lot of beans, so my husband's tired of beans now. But um, they're healthy and they're cheap. So when it comes to what's best for you and your family, think about your budget and make healthy choices. It is certainly cheaper to make a menu for the week or for two weeks, uh, buy only what's what you need for your menu for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and meal prep on Sundays so that it's easy for the rest of the week. It's cheaper to do that than go and buy fast food. While at the moment, buying a salad at a restaurant, um, like fast food restaurants, eight bucks, and buying a hamburger, fries, and a soda is three dollars, the point is that if you plan ahead and you grocery shop, you're going to save money. And we save money because we only buy what we need for the couple of weeks, and then we go back and get more. And when we go grocery shopping, we go to Sam's Club. We live in Puerto Rico, so we have um, not a whole lot of options for the stuff that we like to eat. So we go there to save money on some things for bulk. <clears throat> then we go to a supermercado to get some smaller things that we don't get at Sam's Club. And then we hit up our favorite produce stand for fresh fruits and veggies. So some of the stuff that we buy is organic, some of it's not because it's just not in our budget yet to buy some things organic. Um, and some of these things I could make at home, but it's not my priority to do that. I'm busy and I would rather have the convenience of just having it already done for me. So um, I know that sometimes people think about that. So this is where I'm at, where we're at right now, and that's totally okay, okay? So the staples that we get are, we always have Walnuts and almonds, it's a great healthy snack for good fats. Uh, I also like to cook with them. We always have hummus and fresh veggies to dip. I don't like to get the pre-cut little baby carrots because they taste like chemicals to me. I like to get these ones and just peel them and they're organic a lot better. And they're still cheap. So we like to do that. We like to roast veggies. So I always have broccoli, Brussels sprouts, things like that that I can roast, lots of veggies. We always have ground turkey. I like to use that for um, for turkey lettuce wraps, tacos, but use lettuce for the shells, um, Asian lettuce wraps. You can do meatballs. You can do little uh, like meatloaf muffins. That's a really cheap way to make something. And I always like to cook every other day. So I make extra tonight. Tomorrow night we have leftovers. Then I make something new, and then we have leftovers. So it saves me time. I always have some unsweetened, sh no sugar added applesauce for pancakes, and it's a great egg substitute as well if you're vegan or vegetarian. We always have hot sauce for our eggs because uh, we eat a lot of eggs. We always get egg beaters, and we always get um, probably three or four of these every time we go grocery shopping. Um, we eat a lot of eggs, and I like to balance it out between the lower fat egg beaters and then full eggs. And I use the egg beaters for omelets, um, for egg sandwiches, things like that. So that's always a great option. We always have some unsweetened almond milk on the 21 day fix meal plan and the hammer and chisel meal plan. You can switch out your yellow container twice a week for, uh, I think it's eight ounces of almond milk. And so I don't really do that. I just put a couple tablespoons on my oatmeal every day. And then sometimes I use it for recipes like uh, pancakes on Sunday. Uh, like I said, we always have broccoli. Um, we always have unsweetened cocoa powder. This is great for cooking, making your home your own ice cream at home that's dairy free. Uh, sometimes my husband likes to add it to the vanilla, his vanilla shakeology. We always have apples and um, organic natural nut butter. We love to have apples and peanut butter for a snack. Um, and as far as peanut butter is concerned, I stay away from everything except for all natural organic because it always has sugar. Even the Jiffy and Skippy that says it's natural, it has sugar, so I stay away from that. We always have some tofu. I know this is a scary one for a lot of people, but if my husband likes it, anybody can like it, seriously. 
Uh, I pan fry it in some olive oil with a bunch of seasonings. I'll bake it. Uh, I think the important thing is to get the right consistency because it tastes like whatever you put it with. Um, I always have some spices. You got to be careful about pre-mixed spices, little seasoning blends, because a lot of times they have salt in the top ingredients, and so you got to watch how much salt you're getting in. Uh, we always, we just found this recently. It's Paco's Pincho Sauce, and <laughs> we use it for dressing, and we use it to spice up our meats and tofu. And I love it because it's low calorie and sugar free. It has great ingredients. It's basically vinegar and oil and some seasonings. It's really hard to find dressing uh, that doesn't have sugar or corn fructose, fructose corn syrup in it. And we've tried to make our own dressing a few times and it usually doesn't quite turn out. So we really like that. Then we always have unrefri unrefined cold pressed uh, coconut oil. I use this for lotion. I use this for my face. I cook with it. Uh, it's amazing. We use a lot of coconut oil and it's a really good fat for you. We always have oatmeal. My husband likes to put oatmeal in his um, shakes in the morning, and I always make oatmeal for us for a snack mid-morning too. And then I add chia seeds and flax seeds and uh, some other things to it, and it's a really great snack. It makes you feel full, so I love that. We always have frozen mango. Sometimes we get, it's not really mango season right now. When it is, we'll go buy a lot of mango and cut it up ourselves um, and eat a lot of fresh mango, but it's not, so we always have to have mango. And then, the other thing we always have are red grapes, especially with my sugar problems. This has been a lifesaver. We buy them fresh like this, and then we rinse them off, dry them, and freeze them. And it's like, it's the best dessert. At night, we always have a serving of the grapes and the, and the mango frozen, and it's like having dessert. It's really refreshing. We love it. So that's what we do with the fruit. And then we always have a lot of lettuce for lettuce wraps, and I get them this way so that I can also just break it up for salads. Um, and then we also stop by the uh, produce stand all the time, and we get um, pineapple from them, we get mango, we get papaya, watermelon, lots of different fruits, guanyabana, I think if I say that right. Um, we get a lot of fruits from them, and that's grown right here in Puerto Rico. And then we get a lot of veggies from them as well. I get onions, red onions, yellow onions, I get sweet potatoes, um, all kinds of veggies from them. I always have Caribbean squash on hand. I like to roast it and uh, do some other things with that, and it's super cheap. It's like a big pumpkin. Uh, sometimes I buy it in slices, sometimes I buy the big one. I always have uh, green plantains for tostones, for making my bread, we use this a lot instead of regular bread because it only has like three ingredients. Uh, I always have sweet plantains because I love them with cinnamon and I cook them in uh, coconut oil. Tomatoes, like I said, onions. So that's basically what we buy every couple of weeks. These are the, the things that I build our meal plan off of. And sometimes some things change and we switch things out and try new recipes and stuff like that. But these are basically our staples. So I hope that helps you guys in figuring out what you could be shopping for at the grocery store, uh, what could work for you and your budget. If you have questions, if you need help putting a meal plan together, please reach out to me. I'm happy to do that. I have lots of meal plan samples and ideas and lots of recipes, uh, like the bread recipe I mentioned. I have that online. The pancake recipe, I have got that on my website. You can find that at lindsayphippsfitness.com. You can email me if you have questions or need help with your meal planning, lindsayphippsfitness at gmail.com. So I hope this helps, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.